let the four be. How's it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I look really crusty right now but that doesn't even matter because I woke up really early to go pick up one of my favorite cars and that is the good old fashioned three valve. Now if you guys know anything about this car you know it's no longer a three valve. You guys know what's underneath the hood and we'll be talking about that in a second but we need to get these wheels off and the welds are on the Supra and the Supra is at the body shop somewhere out there. So um, we have to go pick up the wheels, swap them onto this and then we'll be taking this out and having some fun with it in a bit. And I'll be giving you guys a little bit of an update on the Supra as well because I got a lot more info on it. Um, it is at the body shop. I have an estimated time frame of when it'll be done. So we'll be talking about that in a second. But we have to load up the wheels into the Honda, which is behind this door. There you are, beautiful. So we have to throw those into the Honda, take those to SSR, swap out the wheels for the slicks, take the slicks back, toss them on that car, and then we're good to go. And then we can go out and do some fucking fun stuff. So we'll be talking about the three valve when we get back. We need to go get those wheels ASAP. I don't want traffic to hit because that sucks. SoCal traffic, not fun at all. California, not as great as it make it sound on paper. It kind of blows. So anyways, we're going to hop into the Honda and let's go. That's one reason why I went with this Honda. Tell me that's not one of the most convenient sites you've ever seen. And I also love how these doors close. Very sick. I have Honda news as well. I'm actually going later to pick up more parts for the swap. The swap is going down ASAP. Hopefully to have it all done by this month. So that's great. Let's hop in and let's go. What's coming down the street right now? What the? All right, go ahead. Hop on in. What are these guys doing? Look, you're making a lot of noise, but I don't think you're a match for the Civic. I don't know. Zero down, 20% APR, man. How can I say no? You're a liar. <laughs> I know your ass is lying. You're over here saying 80 grand is too much for an R8. You're going to pay 280 for this? You think it's a 280, dude? Yeah, it's got Dimag wheels. This is the one I we see, saw at a... Uh... Hear me? Zero down. Zero yeah, down. zero down. <laughs> Sweet. So, yeah, whose is this, though? So? A uh, client. Oh. Pictures of it later. Okay, so I probably shouldn't post that you're in it revving it. Oh no, you can you can. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. It's, uh, it's uh, 900. He said 940 wheel. Wow. Pure turbo upgrade. Wow. Fifteen thousand dollar exhaust system. Jesus Ford Christ! Carbon. I see all the forged carbon all over. Yeah, I see the Dimag wheels, which are great looking. This was at Carson Coffee on on Saturday, right? Oh uh, yeah. That's yeah, because I saw the wheels and I was yep. like, I actually told the SR and everything about it. But yeah, so Carson that's cool. Fantastic. All right, so. Obviously on the way to go get the wheels. I figured that would be a good time to give you guys an update on the Supra because I've gotten some more information on it. Um, yeah, so State Farm sent me the initial check for it, which was like 2,900 bucks. I already know SSR is like, that ain't gonna cut it cheap. So they're gonna ask State Farm for more. Uh, SSR, on the other hand, actually hit up Shine Auto to get the replacement side skirts and they hit up Toyota get, to get the replacement doors and like door seals and all this stuff. They just wanna replace everything with brand new stuff, which I am cool with, but at the same time, oh my God. At the same time, um, it's gonna take a lot longer. For the side skirts alone, we're looking at six weeks, which is, I mean, fucking a month and a half at least, and that's just to receive them. Then they have to paint them and then wrap them. So that's a long time for just a single part. That's not even including like Toyota and trying to source all of the other OEM, you know, Toyota shit. That's gonna be way longer. So I'm look, I'm thinking fucking eight weeks minimum until I have the super back, which is bullshit. Now, if Toyota does say it's gonna take a while, they are going to just give me the car back as is if that happens i might just try to fix it myself if it's being replaced anyways might as well have some fun and learn a little bit so we're waiting on that we're gonna go later and get some honda parts because this swap is going down as soon as possible i'm tired of of having the k20 just sitting in my living room i want it in the in the car you know that's why i bought it i didn't buy it for decor so it's going in asap we finally got the Mustang back out. It's, it's, it's so far, it's turning out to be a pretty good week. So let's go get these goddamn wheels. All right, we have secured the bag in the back. We got the slicks. So they're gonna go onto their new home, which is the Mustang for now. Dropped off the ESR AP6s, and I got a little bit more of an update on the Supra. Uh, they confirmed with Toyota that the door is unavailable. 
which I knew was the case. So they're gonna have to repair the door as is, and if not, they're gonna try to pick up a used door that's in slightly better shape and try to repair that. Um, they just have to open up the door, or at least take it apart, and see the inside and see if we're hitting the structural part of it. The, I guess it's called like an intrusion bar or something. I don't know, I don't know every little part of a car, but you have to make sure that the car is safe. They can't let the car leave if it's not structurally sound, which makes sense. I don't want to die. It is already a, a sketchy 90s shit box, so every little bit counts, but we're gonna go toss these on, and then uh, we'll go in the car and scare the shit out of this one right here, and uh, see how it is. I have a feeling that car is gonna feel pretty fucking crazy, so let's see. All right, so the parking situation is pretty fucked up right now. We have my car blocking Will's spot, taking up his second spot, and then we have Will's car blocking my spot and blocking my second spot. Um, we have the Honda stuck on the street. I need to work on the Mustang, which means I need to jack it up, and I don't want to do that in the street, but the only, <sighs> too many cars. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull you in to here, and then I'm gonna put the Honda behind you, and then I'll bring the Mustang over, and I guess I can do it in the street. Whatever, it's two wheels, I can do it. Well, let's just, let's get it done. That actually took a total of like five seconds. Oops, don't wanna trip over you. So, let's get the almighty cold start. You guys haven't heard this in months. Let's go ahead and get this thing revved up. Well, maybe not revved up, but let's go ahead and wake up the neighborhood. <laughs> It was already pretty warm. I drove it a couple hours ago, but it still has that gnarly just like bite right when it turns on. So let's get these bad boys off because they are rubbing a lot. I mean, that shit is grazed. So let's go ahead and take care of that. I figured you guys might not be able to hear me over the sound of the exhaust. So yeah, these things are rubbing really bad. Like they actually said on dyno, it was melting the tire as you can see right here. So the dyno number that they gave me is a little skewed. It's a little on the lower end um, because of this. Without the rubbing, it would have read, you know, probably 40 to 50 higher is what they're saying. So it's fine. I mean, I was still happy with the number. Um, we didn't change anything from the setup, but it made some good power. I'm still happy with it. And if I can dial in the traction like I'm trying to, we'll be good. I'm not going to do a time lapse of me swapping the tires. No one wants to see that. You guys just like seeing the good old fashioned snap technique. So just like like this old wheels are on let's go ahead and change them in three two one and just like that the weld wheels are on and they fit a lot better the other ones as you saw were sticking out these even with a tiny spacer are just nice and perfectly flush and it gives it plenty of room for when it squats it's not gonna rub so speaking of rubbing take a look at how nasty this is this thing was chewed up I know exactly where it's rubbing um, and yeah, it was getting really hot. It was rubbing really bad. So that's no longer an issue This one had a little bit of rubbing as you can see like this groove these two grooves aren't supposed to be there It's supposed to be like this and uh yeah, it started chewing into it. So those tires are pretty smoked. They're good backups and that's all I ever use them for. But it was rubbing on this little bolt right here that holds on my rock guard. Um, yeah, not really much I can do about that unless I got like a flush bolt, but it shouldn't rub anymore. If it does, then I definitely will. But it has a lot more space with these tires. They're not quite as tall, but it's got plenty of meat now to squat and go. And I don't think I mentioned also, I did the re uh, lower control arm really location bracket if you could see it in there they're sitting way lower so this thing should be a traction monster now no more sway bar either and that's only because it wouldn't fit so what I might do is take the stock sway bar off of that car and then throw my upgraded one that's inside onto that car so that way she gets an upgrade I still have a sway bar and neither of us die that's the plan let me get cleaned up a little bit mount the 360 camera we'll go for a drive it is rush hour right now so I don't know how good we're gonna be able to get on it I don't know how much room we'll have but we're gonna try. There's no harm in trying. You guys miss this car, I miss this car. I am really curious how it's going to feel with those wheels and tires. I'm super excited. Before I do mount up the camera, it needs a wash desperately. Some bird must have eaten Taco Bell and just crapped all over this thing. It's nasty, it's everywhere, it is disgusting. I'm like, where the fuck was this thing parked? All right, let me wash it, then we'll leave. All right, the car is nice and clean. We have the Insta360 camera mounted to the back we have that nice booty angle right here we're gonna go out hopefully get a couple poles in 
hopefully get some nice footage on this bad boy right here and then we're gonna stop by my buddy's house and get some parts for the honda um i'm really trying to get this shit done this month so i am on top of it i know you guys really want it done too oops sorry car no sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry okay i really thought it was about to go off keys are there um yeah so we're gonna do all that it's a really busy day but it's a really fun day also the car just cleans up really well when there's no bird poop all over it it actually looks like a decent car which is crazy who would have thought so yeah let me go ahead and get all this shit situated we got the preview right here it's uh perfectly angled if it'll focus it looks great um he's leaving with the 720 the honda alarm is going crazy it doesn't like all the loud noises you better get going stop filming me will get out of my way all right so we had a minor delay my weld was rubbing up against my brake caliper so i had to stop and grind off some more i actually cut my finger in the process you can hear a little rubbing but it's the weights on the wheel barely nicking the the brake caliper so i'm hoping that they'll just fall off because i don't even care at this point i am so just like out of it but whatever they're there i can barely hear it you guys can probably barely hear it i got the camera mounted on the back we're gonna try to get some footage trying to see how it looks how it sounds see how it feels mainly let's wait for an opening and let's gun it all right we got everything recording we're gonna try to do a quick little baby pull give her some beans downshift a little downshift again right after this It's a third gear car, whether I'm doing a, a 40 or a 50 or a 60, whatever I'm doing, I'm starting in third. There is no second gear. It is not happening. It is way too fast. But just, I guess that's good. I mean, I'm happy because then at least it's still showing that it's still fast. If I was able to hook from a second gear, don't get me wrong, I'd be happier. But then that might mean that it, it, it lost power and like it's not doing as much as uh, the dyno sheet says. So. So far, so good. We got to do a few more 60 rolls on the freeway, but it is way too crowded right now. We're going to wait till nighttime. So we'll see you then. Sorry, guys. It's the next day. Traffic wasn't cooperating with us. So we're going to go out and do some pulls in a minute. But we went ahead and picked up a lot of the Honda parts that we needed. We got the K-Swap header right here. We have shifter plate. We have a loop hose for the oil cooler if I don't want to run one. Um, we have an 05 to 06 RSX intake manifold. It's a little bit bigger than this one, apparently. And it also has all of the throttle body shit we need um, where this one is missing everything. So we're just going to swap that out just completely. Um, a bag of other stuff like thermostat and shit and uh, just all, all, everything that was missing on this thing I think we have now so I'll be assembling this later we have more coolant lines right here um, that's the flange for the exhaust manifold and we also have more shit here so we have a lot of stuff I have to go and build this like a Lego set later today I'll be doing that but big news it's going in soon this is this is huge and this is really good super excited so I'm actually gonna eat something really quick and then I'll be mounting up the camera and going out and driving. It's about noon right now. I don't wanna say I just woke up, but I was just laying in my room for a while 
and finally decided to get out of bed and stop being a piece of shit and give you guys some content. Last little thing of good news, uh, the McLaren went in to go get the coil packs swapped out, so it's gonna be running 100%, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, I can't really do that because I sliced my finger, but fingers crossed, McLaren should be running at full speed ahead today. Super excited for that. Okay, so we're finally in the Mustang and it just started to sprinkle. I went to the gas station, because this thing was low, and it's sprinkling. And I'm on tires that aren't meant to get wet. So uh, I'm gonna hop on the freeway and head hopefully to drier lands. And we'll try to get a couple poles. And I just really wanna get a couple poles for you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's like some decent sized raindrops and that can seriously affect how this thing hooks. So not the greatest of things, but it is what it is. So let's head towards the freeway and let's hope everything goes well. I don't think it's raining anymore. It might be barely, so I think we're okay. The, the floor doesn't even look wet. So hopefully it doesn't feel wet either because we're about to test it. If it's wet, oh, this is gonna fucking suck. Oh my God. It doesn't look wet, so I'm gonna wait for an opportunity and I'm fucking sending it. I'm doing it. All right, I see my window. Hopefully I don't see any popo. Floor looks dry, mirrors look good, gauges look good, temperature is up. Only one more thing to do. God, Lord, please let the please let the floor be. Biggest complaint I have about having these high horsepower cars, first world problems, I know. But one of these one of these complaints I have is, dude, when do I get to use it? I gotta use it twice right there, and I drove probably for what 10 miles, and I gotta use it twice. Where if you have a 300, 400, 500 wheel horsepower car, you can play with it a lot more and it's a lot more fun. So I'm gonna try to get like one or two more, but it's just it's so hard because one, my brakes, we we, we just ain't there yet. 
Okay, we don't got we don't got the braking uh, capacity yet, so uh, not gonna happen. But two, it just accelerates so fast, and it's like this. It it just gets dangerous. So I don't know. It, it's fast, but fuck. I still think the McLaren is faster though. Uh, anyways, let's let's go see what happens. All right, guys. Well, we were out driving the Mustang right now, trying to get a little bit more footage of it, and as you can see. We are on the side of the road. I'm here with my buddy Ian. I was showing him how the Mustang feels because he's never been in it before. And a pretty underwhelming first reaction because... <laughs> on the second pole, it just sheared off everything. I mean, it is in a... What, how many? How many? It's an individual six rib now. You got, you got six separate strands. So it destroyed it. We're on the side of the road waiting. Well, luckily, I did have another belt in the car, and we have it almost on, but we gotta put the tensioner, and we don't have any tools to do it yet, so we're waiting on a few reinforcements, and then we'll be good to go, but yeah, I need to find a heavy-duty belt ASAP because this can't keep happening. All right, reinforcements have arrived in style, so we're having a mini car meet on the side of the freeway trying to fix it. We got the bag of tools. <laughs> We're good to go. I mean, we'll be good. We got the new belt on. Um, we just got to do the tensioner and then, and then we're out of here. Thank God. All right, guys. The car has made it home. We got the old belt on, which was actually the belt that was slipping on Dino. Uh, didn't do any pulls on the way home for obvious reasons, but car made it home safely. That was one of the best case scenarios for your car breaking down on the freeway. Um, I would much rather have that happen than the supercharger seizing up or blowing my motor. I mean, the, the coolant temperatures sure did get really hot, but um, we took care of it. We handled it really quick, and the car seems solid. Drove it all the way. Seems good. So that's good news. This is the part about modding cars that they don't really tell you when you start to do it is yeah, shit doesn't always go as planned and that seems to be the case for this car all the time. So um, I'm going to have to see what I'm going to do if I'm going to order a uh, heavy duty belt or if I'm going to go ahead and go with a 10 rib. I don't know. If we go 10 rib, I will pull it down and turn up the boost a little. Um, I don't want to max out my fuel system because that will be the next fail point. So just right on the verge of that and then we'll be good but uh, it is really late. I'm trying to talk quietly because it's probably about one in the morning right now, but just thought I would let you guys know we're good. The car's good. It is back home. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down below. The K20 will be going in very shortly. Um, I do got to go to Mexico and get some of these cars racing. I don't know which one I will take. I want to take the McLaren because I feel like when the coil packs go in, it'll be the most reliable, ironically. But um, if not, I will take the Mustang, but I'm going to have a belt and a tool kit ready because I think it's going to happen again. Unless I can find a heavy duty belt or go 10 rep. So anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this. Let me know down below. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.